him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Gob, it's time for the only news that matters. An ACDC guitarist, Angus Young, once offered his thoughts on Eric Clapton, and they weren't particularly flattering. The hard rock guru has scored international fame, rocking stadiums across the globe. The heart and soul of the Australian band, he is uh, the perpetual naughty schoolboy in rock and sambo hall upsetting those around him. Back in 1986, Angus Young sat down with Guitar World and waxed lyrically, lyrical about his influence. The Scottish-born guitarist uh, enthused about rock and roll's pioneers like Chuck Berry, his singular sound and the impact it had on his own work. Comparing Chuck Berry to Eric Clapton, it turns out Angus Young doesn't hold the blues rock god in particularly high esteem. He said that Berry is a lot better than Clapton will ever be and never saw what the big fuss was about uh, about the former cream man. Uh, expanding on this, Angus said, Chuck Berry was never a caring person. He didn't care whether he was playing his tune out of tune or someone else's tune. Whatever he played guitar, he had this big grin from ear to ear. Everyone always used to rave about Clapton when I was growing up, saying he was a guitar genius and stuff like that. Well, even on a bad night, Chuck Berry is a lot better than Clapton will ever be. Citing Clapton's habits of mimicking his own blues heroes, Angus concluded, Clapton just sticks licks together that he has taken from other people like B.B. King and the other old blues player and puts them together in some mishmash fashion. The only great album he's ever made was the Blues Breaker album he did with John Mayo and a couple of other good songs he did with Cream. The guy more or less built his reputation on that. I never saw what the big fuss was about Eric Clapton to begin with. So there you have it, ACDC's Angus Young. Not a fan of Eric Clapton in particular, and uh, neither am I. You know, I, I gotta admit, the, I, there are a couple things he did I liked. I liked the Cream live version of Crossroads. I thought that was really good. I liked the song Layla, and you know, a couple other songs here and there, very few, uh, but you know, I mean, say what you want about Clapton, including me that's not a fan and feel he's overrated. He influenced my favorite guitar player of all time, Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen sounds nothing like Eric Clapton, but he has said it countless times that Clapton was a huge influence on him. So, you know, I mean, there you go. He's influential. It, and I don't get, you know, I had an argument the other day, you know, hey, look. There's certain things that everybody should like, but I don't. I don't like. I don't like Chuck Berry. And see how, but see how Chuck Berry influenced Angus. I don't like Little Richard. See how Little Richard influenced the Beatles. Uh, their music does nothing for me. I can't say. That, look, I gotta force myself to like this music because. You know, they influenced all these bands I love. I, that's not the way it works with me. You know, either I like it or I don't. And when it comes to 50s music, I really only liked Elvis Presley and Buddy Holly. I mean, I love and still love Elvis and Buddy Holly. I think that's some awesome stuff. I was never into Jerry Lee Lewis and never a blues guy, even though for some odd reason, I really like that Robert Johnson stuff, you know, that pretty much started it all. I, I liked, you know, that, that Crossroads and all that primitive recording that guy did. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was really, really good. And that's, just, you know, to me, that's like the pinnacle of it. Like anything after that was done by other people was just not as good. But then there's people that, 
you know, rip off other people and make it better, like Led Zeppelin, for instance. Led Zeppelin gets blamed for being big rip-off artists, where, you know, if you really analyze it, they ripped off a few songs, not not as many as people, like, make them out to be. I mean, what, ha- what sounded like Cashmere? Come on, you know, but, all right, those songs, uh, I've heard many of those blues songs later on, the original versions, and I thought Led Zeppelin did them better. But, of course, the fan of the blues would disagree with me, but... Honestly, I don't even like the Led Zeppelin songs that they ripped off. Those, but I prefer them over the originals I've heard. And uh, another person that's hugely influential and that I could see the incredible talent, but I cannot get into his music, is Bob Dylan. There's a song Bob Dylan wrote that I think the lyrics are some of the most genius lyrics I've ever heard in my life, and I could be wrong, but I believe this song has never been released on an official album. I think it's on one of these compilations or something. You know, some song you never release. Uh, the song is called Make You Feel My Love. And it's just the lyrics. Like, I go hungry, I go black and blue, I go crawling down the avenue. There's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. I mean... Wow, that to me is mind-blowing lyrics. And I guess he didn't think it was good enough to put it on a record. So yeah, I might not be into the music. I respect that they influence, you know, all these artists. And I can see the genius of Bob Dylan. But I can't see the genius in other people. There's many, many bands that are huge that do nothing for me but you know it's cool for all you Prince fans or fans of U2 I mean these are bands that historically haven't done nothing for me man I've heard so much U2 through the 80s 90s and 2000s to know that man they can't write a damn song I can get into but they fill stadiums so they give joy to way more people you know, that are into stuff that I'm not into, like you too. I'm still waiting for Boner to save the world, though. Anyway, yeah, so, wow. You know, I've never heard Angus say anything negative about anybody, so. Yeah, it's pretty wild that he said that back decades ago to Guitar World magazine, and wow, I never knew all these years he felt that way about Eric Clapton. Though a lot of people do. There's a lot of people that are... That I know, personally. They're not into Eric Clapton. They like a lot of guitar players like Hendrix and stuff like that. But they kind of look like, a, you know, Clapton's not. He's no Jeff Beck, you know. And he's no Hendrix or Jimmy Page. And I happen to agree with that, you know. I agree with Angus. But, you know, look what Chuck Berry does for Angus. See how we're different there? Chuck Berry does nothing for me. Angus, Angus loves when he plays out of tune. Angus loves when he messes up songs. That's how much Angus loves them. So, good for him, man. And, uh, you know, leave your comments below. You guys love Little Richard and Chuck Berry. You know, the the people that quote-unquote invented rock and roll. To me, it was Robert Johnson that invented it. But, yeah, it, anyway. And I thought Elvis perfected it with Buddy Holly and the Beatles. And the Who and the Stones. That, to me, I love. Stuff like that. But, you know what? We all have opinions, and none of us are right to everybody. We're only right to ourselves. So if Angus doesn't think Eric Clapton is good, nor I think Eric Clapton is that good, uh, we're not right to the people that love Eric Clapton, that love slow hand. I don't know about you, man, but if you're a guitar player, do you want to really be known as Slow Hand? That's not really a cool name for a guitar player. Why not Boring Lazy Fingers? And also, history has shown that Chuck Berry was not an original at all. Everything Chuck Berry has done, he ripped it off from Calvin Klein. So I want to thank you all for watching the only news that matters. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring that little notification bell. 
And let me know what you all think in the comments below. Do you love Chuck Berry, Little Richard, and you have these opposite opinions on me? Express your love for those artists. Ain't gonna change my mind, but I like reading stuff like that. I like different opinions. And uh, like the video. It's good for the YouTube agnorisms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack him a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>